Kira, just reach over and start rubbing on him and petting on him. Yep. You can see how she's laying her ears back, and you're so tall she can barely get up there. And of course, your instinct would be to push her away, and if you did, it'd be like rejecting somebody in the handshake. They try to shake your hand harder. So if they don't get greeted, they'll come back a second time, and they'll come in so fast with their nose, they'll give you a fat lip with their nose. And of course, they don't mean to hurt you. And then they look up and they see you got a bloody lip, and they're like, oh, here, let me help you, and they smack you again. <laughs> so we learned by getting you to sit down on the ground, that way they don't have to jump up. And uh, by ignoring them, that's what shows leadership, and that's what brought them to you guys. Uh, if you're ever out around animals, don't go to the animal, let the animal come to you. And you can see, you guys, they're uh, sadly not very afraid of people, are they? And uh, most wolves in captivity won't come up to strangers. But these guys have uh, kind of grown up here. They've learned that you guys are just part of our family. And this is actually enrichment. You can notice they'll go show off to the other wolves. Look at us. We got the people. Um, they're going to give you this attention for about two to five minutes. Um, the people on the end, it's easier to greet you guys because you're not as vulnerable. If you walked in a room with a bunch of wolves, you wouldn't go to the center of the wolves. You'd go to the ones on the end. So here in a couple of minutes, what I think I'd like to do is uh, move some folks around a little bit. And um, I do want to do this great slide. I'm thinking if I take these guys here and bring them down to that block, we can have these guys slide up. See, or we can just start at this end and bring over whichever one you think is going to work. Sure, why don't we try to slide them down? Um, yeah, we can do that. Or Like two kids in the household, one's academic, one's athletic. 